Today is a brand new year. What are you going to do this year to improve your life? In this video, I'm gonna give you five skills that I think you should learn in 2021 if you haven't learned them already. I believe that if you study what I'm gonna explain in this video, it will really help you in your career. I believe strongly in riding waves. I've ridden waves in my career over the years. I got ahead when I learned about voice over IP and the whole industry changed from traditional telephony to voice over IP. I got ahead when I learned about open flow and network automation, network programmability. I like to ride waves because I think it can really accelerate your career. So my advice is learn these five skills if you wanna get ahead in 2021. They can really help you. Now, before I talk about the skills, I wanna talk about career paths. I'm often asked, David, what should I study? What should I become in my career? And that decision is a decision that you need to make. My advice would be do what you love. You don't wanna spend your whole life working in a career that you hate. If you enjoy development, become a developer or a coder or a programmer, whichever term you wanna use, but perhaps you don't enjoy coding, then you may wanna become an ethical hacker. Decide what you wanna do with your life. You have one chance, so make the most of it. Do what you love, don't spend your time doing things that you hate, if you can at all possible. So work towards where you wanna go. If you wanna be a software developer, then spend time on skills that help you become a better software developer. If you wanna become an ethical hacker, then spend time on skills that help you become a better ethical hacker. The good news is that the five top skills that I'm talking about in this video will help you in multiple career paths. So you could start more generalist and then become more specialized as you find out what you enjoy doing. Four paths that I think can really help you are software development, become a software developer, or become an ethical hacker or work in cybersecurity, or become a network engineer or have an understanding of networking, or work with analytics, data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Any of those four paths or tracks, if you like, I think can lead you to a lot of success, but decide what you enjoy. Either focus on development or on cybersecurity or ethical hacking or on networking or on data science, analytics, machine learning. But again, you could be a developer as your core skill, but have a strong knowledge of networking. Or you could become a network engineer and have understanding of programming. I don't think you can be a network engineer today or a good network engineer if you don't understand development. So become the person that's a good network engineer, but also very strong on programming, using Python as an example. Differentiate yourself from others by having skills in multiple areas, but focus in on one. There's too much information to learn in a lifetime. So focus in on one of the technologies and become the best that you can be in that specific area. But there's nothing stopping you from having skills in multiple domains, but decide what you wanna do. And with that in mind, here are the top five skills that I think you should get in 2021. Number one is Python. If you don't know Python, you're gonna be at a disadvantage. Doesn't matter if you're a network engineer, doesn't matter if you're a, if you're a ethical hacker, doesn't matter if you work in data science, doesn't matter if you're a programmer, you need to know Python today. It really opens up doors for you. Number two, you need to know Linux. The world runs on Linux. If you work in the cloud, if you work in Internet of Things devices or IoT, if you work in networking, doesn't matter where you are, Linux runs a lot of the world, so you need to know Linux. I don't know how many times I need to say it, but you need to learn Linux, you need to learn Python. Thirdly, you need to know the cloud. Networking has been changing for many years, from on-premise to applications hosted in the cloud. There's a reason that Amazon are as big as they are. Cloud technologies, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, make sure that you learn about cloud technologies. You don't have to learn about all of them, but make sure you at least have an understanding of one of those cloud technologies. So AWS or Azure or Google Cloud as an example. You need to have an understanding of networking. The world runs on networks. Applications, doesn't matter what application you're using today. Generally today, you're gonna have a client talking to a server across a network. Big issues are caused because application developers write code that works on their laptop but doesn't necessarily work in production because 
that they make the mistake of thinking unlimited bandwidth. The world doesn't have unlimited bandwidth. Networks don't have unlimited bandwidth. Your application will be affected by bandwidth issues. There is delay in a network. You can't assume that because it works on your local laptop, it's gonna work in production because there is delay or latency in a network. So a good application developer is aware of how networks work. Think about it as follows. Is your application gonna use TCP? Is it gonna use UDP? Why is UDP better in some cases than TCP? Why is TCP better than UDP? You need to have an understanding of basic networking. Do you understand IP version four addressing, IP version six addressing? That stuff is really basic. Make sure that you at least have an understanding of networking. Now again, which path are you taking? If you're gonna be a software developer, your focus is on writing code, but you need an understanding of networking. If you're a networker, your focus is on networking, but you need to have an understanding of coding. You may not code all the time, but you need to know how to automate networks. You need to know how to talk to an application developer. And that gets me to the next big topic, APIs. The world runs on APIs today because we have applications talking to applications and how do they communicate through application programming interfaces. We as humans use a language, let's say English to communicate. Programs will use something like a REST API to send information from one application to another. So a client would talk to a server using a REST API. For instance, using a GET to get information or a POST or a put to put information on a server. So you need to have an understanding of APIs. And I've put this in as a bonus, you need to understand virtualization. Learn technologies like virtual machines. VMware as an example has been in the game for many, many years with software such as ESXi, used in many enterprises around the world. You have a physical server with virtual machines running on it but the world has also moved on and now we have containers. So you need to have an understanding of containers versus virtual machines. So think of technologies such as Docker and Kubernetes. This is the way the world is going. Follow the trends, look at where the world is going. I think if you focus your time on these five areas, it will help you in life. This is where the world is going. So make sure you learn Python, make sure you learn Linux. Make sure you have an understanding of the cloud. Again, depends where you wanna focus your time. You may wanna be a cloud engineer so you become really good at AWS, but you can't be a good cloud engineer if you don't understand networking. Just because you put an application into the cloud doesn't mean that you can ignore networking. You actually have to understand networking because you have to understand concepts such as load balancing. You have to understand subnetting. You have to understand firewalls. You can't have one without the other. So if you wanna put applications in the cloud and you wanna manage those applications, you need to have an understanding of networking. Even if you're running applications in Docker containers, you need some kind of networking because how are your client applications gonna to talk to your server applications? Notice how all of these technologies work together. So learn networking if you are gonna be a develop as an example, you may just have a little bit of understanding of networking, if you're a network engineer, you may have a strong focus on networking and a smaller focus on application development. Make sure you learn APIs and make sure that you learn virtualization. Just remember, no one expects you to learn this by tomorrow. You may just be starting out, but here is a roadmap that I think can help you in 2021. If you focus your time in on these areas, it will help you a lot in the coming years. Okay, so that's my viewpoint. What do you think? Do you agree? Put in the comments below. Do you agree with what I've said? Do you disagree? Is there anything that I've missed? Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal, and I wanna wish you all the very best in 2021. Go and make a success of your life.